Hello and welcome to Architizi. I was looking at the Pinterest for some inspirational pictures and then I found uh, this example and I was really impressed with these stairs. I really like how they look like and then I immediately realized that this is going to be a perfect example to show you because I often heard that you need to be a pro to manipulate with stairs in Revit if you would like to make them to look very nice and to work very well. And actually with this tutorial I would like to show you completely opposite. You don't need to be a pro, you could be a complete beginner and if you follow this tutorial from beginning to the end you will be able to create these stairs on a very very simple way I will be using Revit 2023 and the metric architectural template which is provided by Autodesk also only families which are in that template so you can follow all my steps and at the end you will be able to create it and the most important you will learn the process actually the method how you can use it and take it in your projects let's just move to Revit the first thing I'm going to do in Revit is to decrease the the height of the of the level so i don't need the 4000 i will just make the number where we are going to get the round number of stairs so i know it's 2.72 meters we'll work with the, the 16 stairs yeah so it means that the 17 centimeters is going to be uh, the the height of one stair i will just take this monolithic stair we'll have the height of let's say 68 centimeters my units in Revit are in millimeters so I was just typing one zero less in my calculator remember this number it's quite important you will see why okay so we have this and I can just delete this uh, this railing so if we compare these stairs here and the one in our model, you s we see that uh, we have this uh, back of the stairs as a full solid part. And I don't want to create any walls or anything like that. I will just adjust the stairs. So let's go to edit type and then under the run type, adjust the thickness. So in this case, I will just make the structural depth of, let's say, 600. And you see, it's fine. And now I will just go to the level one and we'll again create stairs but in this case i'm going to use this uh, private one we'll start from 680 uh, control the number let's put so we need 12 stairs and let's make the three depth of 280 that's why i said it's important to remember the value of the previous one so they have the same value for the three depth let me just make the section here okay so we need to adjust this one a little bit i have to start like this so what i did is just i excluded begin with the riser and with these stairs i will i can just duplicate it we don't need the supports by both sides and we don't need the risers so let's click apply what I can also see here that we have some kind of nosing, so I will just get rid of it as well. Okay, this looks this looks fine. And now the next thing which we would like to do is this part here. So I'm going to make it as a wall. So I will create a new wall and then I will edit it. So here comes the wall, I can just bring it down to here and now in order to make it to look like this I will use edit profile. We'll take a line and the offset of 100 so it goes parallel with the ends of the stairs and let's just trim this. So you see this look this looks well now we have to create this railing and as you could see we just have the handrail so let me show you how you can make a handrail out of the offered railings we have in this template so we have this 900 then we have this 900 pipe 
and then this last panel so the one as a starting point which i'm going to use is this uh, 900 pipe so we'll just go and duplicate this one and for the structure we have we need nothing and actually i'm going to delete all those rails and also for the balusters we will have no balusters bearing in mind that we just uh, going to have the handrail So what we are going to only have right now is this top rail and then it's going to be on a height of 900 and then the profile is going to be circular 40 millimeters. Probably I forgot, yes, to put none here. And here it comes. But what we have to create right now is extending of this railing so you see that it follows down there and uh, if I go to the level one and would like to extend this one with a new line let's say to go up to here you see that it's going to uh, go but straight so I will just go to undo okay I showed you the way how you can make it using the top railing but there's also the other way so you don't need to use the top railing you can actually use the handrail so I'm going to duplicate this type and instead of top rail I will be using the handrail and I will be using let's say okay we can take this 30 millimeters so let's keep everything like it's here and position we can take right or actually we need to flip it so let's put the position here to the left and I will put the offset to the zero so you see this looks fine so this is going to be great if you would like to have those supports we probably have them I cannot see them they probably exist it's a very little part over here as you could see but we cannot see them as I said from the other pictures and now we would like to make the same uh, railing on these stairs so what I'm going to do is just go to railing place stairs and then I will take this O2 and we'll select the stairs we'll delete this one but because here I don't want to have this wall support and here we'll just for the type I will just take nothing for the supports so click OK and you see so this one has offset of 0 let's put this offset to on 0 as well and you see that they connect well and now what I would like to do is to go to level 1 and I will edit path of this railing so I will make it shorter let's say to end up here because you see that they end up somewhere at the height of this uh, of this riser and I will create new line in this direction, let's say 100 and then one meter to here. Let's click fine. And you see that this looks okay, uh, but it's not done yet. So there is uh, one very big difference. If we take a look at the example, you see that we have uh, a very nice radial corners. So let's add them. And I will select this uh, railing and under edit type I will just go here to the to the handrail one and for the default join instead of meter I will be using fillet we'll add radius of let's say 25 and we'll just click apply and of course we can add this radius to 50 for example or maybe 40 so yeah this is very well this looks fine and you can for example if you want uh, select the railing any type and you can anytime increase this length of this horizontal one as much as you want as i promised this is going to be quite simple and i really hope it was if you have any questions or you have any doubts about this just feel free to write in the comments i will be very glad to reply to you Thank you very much for supporting us if you want subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thanks again.